98.2 FM Dian Suara Purwokerto come closer to you. Hello in this mate, how are you today? We hope you are always in a good health. So, welcome back to Safe in this podcast. A podcast that can be your sad night soul mate. Alright, welcome to the second week of November, which will be a week to celebrate our National Hero Day. We could take another flashback step to Indonesia's independence era which had become an era that was full of agony to protect and ensure our independence against colonialism, either came from outside or even inside Indonesia. Such a heroic sacrifice that had been done by our veterans. Hence, let's give our deepest prayers towards them so that their services and sacrifices are accepted and given the best places in the sight of God. Amen. Alright, talking about heroes, are you guys curious or even like asking what Indonesian millennials do to continue our veterans nowadays? Are they doing nothing? Or actually, they do something but we haven't known it yet. So, I am Aditya Mujibakti. Here, we're gonna talk about 21's era of Indonesian. Go international by modernism. In this theme, we're gonna talk about modernism, a condition that obliges each individual to do their daily activities with modern lifestyle, that also gets into Indonesian lifestyle nowadays, which correlates with Indonesian achievements in international scale. But first thing first, we can say that modernism is a kind of lifestyle that requires a lot of money since it is needed to provide modern lifestyle by having many things to support it, such as proper device like Android or even iOS based device which can be seen as primary needs for each person around the world. But in the other hand, Modernism could lead us to learn and adapt to new conditions that we haven't imagined before. In this context, Indonesia was very adapted with modernism, including on how our modern hero raises their capability and gets many achievements from it. Alright, many achievements have been achieved by Indonesian golden boys and girls in international scales even or agendas. But let me bring you in this mate to the newest achievements that have been achieved in 2019 until 2021. First is about COVID achievement. Yes, this would be a great achievement for Indonesia that has been gained by one of our golden girls named Karina Citra Dewi Jo. Based on BBC News Indonesia's website, she gained Pride of Britain, which is a special categorized Nobel for her team regarding the massive production of Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, which already spread it out more than 170 countries around the world, including Indonesia, as a type of vaccine to prevent COVID-19 disease. On her team, Karina carried out two ideas which are 30mm cells and also two tablespoons vaccine concept that can be spread out with minimum prices but also has a high quality of COVID-19 curing. As the final result, this concept is already fixed as a kind of many COVID-19 vaccines which already known as AstraZeneca or we can call it AZ that are successfully used by many people in Indonesia and also other countries around the world. Second, this achievement, I think it will be amazing. It is about online gaming achievements. Yes, I know, I know, I know, and I know. You are asking how can it be? But the fact is, yes, Indonesia has gained many achievements on international online gaming competition scale. This online gaming achievements was gained by many esports squads, which inside them, there are several divisions of online games such as Player Unknown Battleground or PUBG, Mobile Legends, Valorant, Free Fire, etc. Those squads that has raised Indonesia's name by gaining champion title in esports competitions are Evors, 
who wins the Free Fire World Cup, MPL Season 4, M1 World Championship on 2019, RRQ or Rex Regum Keon, who wins C Class of Champions, became runner-up in M1 World Championship, and PMCOC Fall Split in 2019, BTR or Bigetron, who gains 5 trophy on PUBG Mobile Divisions which are PMCO Global Berlin and PMCO Global Malaysia in 2019, PMPL and Spring Split in 2019, and became one of the top 5 runner-up of PMPL C Season 4 in 2021. Those are the achievements that were gained by our millennial heroes in the year 2021's era. So, what can we learn from it? Yes, absolutely. They got their achievements by doing their favorite things and always practicing to become a better personality in each field that they master. So, we need to do the same thing. I mean, not being a scientist or a pro player, but we need to be consistent on what kind of thing that interests us. By the time we are doing our consistency, indirectly, we are slowly mastering it and maybe in the future, we will be professional in our field. Yes, it could be possible for us. So keep your spirits up and do your favorite fields by commitment and consistency. With that, you could be a person that is really, 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 and really beyond your own expectations. So in this mat, that is our podcast today. If you are interested in our podcast, you can directly visit our Instagram, Spotify, and YouTube. And make sure you guys hit that notification post to always stay updated. Save in this podcast, a podcast that can be your sad night soulmate. I am Aditya Mujibakti, signing out and have a nice day. Peace!